factoring quadratics that have a common factor. Should we start hard? No, let's work up to it. Let's do this first example first. I'm looking at 8c squared minus 96c plus 160. Wow, big numbers, that's the stuff they don't like. We can factor out a common factor and make the numbers smaller, nicer, faster. So I see I have an eight in each one of those. So I'm gonna pull that eight out and wait. I have c squared minus 96 divided by eight is 12? Let's see. Yeah, c plus 160 divided by eight is 20. Oh boy. So the first rule of factoring, never talk about factoring. After that, pull out a common factor. That's done. So I'm going to just leave that 8 out. Got to get that. Got to get that C and C. Music factory? No. I'm looking for the factors of 20 that add to be 12. Are there any? Yeah, it's like you're driving. 10 and 2. So then I put my 10 and then I put my 2. Does it matter the order I put it in? No, because now it's time to assign the signs. That says they're both the same and they're both negative. Negative, but what do I do with that eight? I bring that eight right on down there. And then, yeah, uh, boxing, pre-did flower. Let's go ahead and go to this middle example. Oh boy. So we want to take out the common factor. First rule of factoring, never talk about factoring. And then after that, take out the common factor. So we want to see what the common factor is going to be. Oh boy, looks like it's going to be an M and an N. So I'm going to factor out an M and an N, then left over on the inside. What do I multiply MN by to get M to the third N? That's going to be an M squared. All right, minus 10 times. I'm taking out one M and N. So I reduce that by a power of one. So that's M N plus Oh, there's more. I take out my MN from there, and I have 24N squared. Yeah, all right. Step one complete. Now what do we need to do? We need to go and we need to factor that inside. You got to get that. You got to get that. Now, in the description down below, we talk about factoring things that are quadratic in form. I might even put an annotation right there. I'm not promising it'll show up. So, it's quadratic this way and it's quadratic that way. So I'm gonna factor by magic. So you wanna play with magic? I'm gonna put my M's there and then I'm looking for the factors of 24 that add to be 10. That's gotta be six and four. So I'm gonna put a six there, but I'm gonna leave some room there. And I'm gonna put a four there, but I'm gonna leave some room there. And what am I gonna put there and there? I'm gonna put N, N, N. Cause it's quadratic both ways. We can factor by magic. Now, the signs are the same and they're both negative. Negative, negative. And what do I do with that M, N? I bring it down then, then I have M, N. And then, uh, uh, box and flower. One more. Save the most hardest for lastest. I want to factor out a common factor. Do you see anything that's common to all of those? I do. P, 2p plus q. So I'm going to take that 2p plus q and I'm going to pull it on out. 2p plus q. Now that's in common so I'm going to write all the leftovers. This piece and this piece and that piece and then we. There should be an r right there. R. Root, root, root. Okay, so then this is an R squared minus 10 R plus 16. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna try to factor that. The factors of 16 that add to be two, 10? Are there any? Two and eight, great. So I gotta get that. I gotta get that R and R, 2 and 8. The signs are the same and they're both negative. I guess I could have put in some creativity to that. But that's that. Until I bring that right on down to P plus Q. Oh. And I'm in fully factored form. So now. Uh, whoop. Okay. Box and flower, flower.
sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.